Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be another Top Speed Tune update video. So, previously, my old video, uh, before the Special Stage Route X update, showcased the Enzo Ferrari as the fastest streetcar in the game, reaching 436 kilometers an hour down the Molzan Strait. Now, with Route X, no more bumps, and no more Molzan kink to worry about, and you have probably the best run up to any straight in the game with these super highly banked corners and with this update we're gonna see the true potential of the fastest streetcar in the game so always taking the corner so I can get the best run up as possible using the little dip at the end of the corner and crossing the line already 430 kilometers an hour now <laughs> which is still pretty fast now passing our previous top speed tune reaching 440 kilometers per hour and before the 60 meter rise above or not really above anything above the water reaching 445 kilometers per hour which is faster than some group one cars and and 1000 cars which is pretty insane considering this is only an N900 car so cresting up the hill we dip down to 438 but now we're climbing back up to 450 and our peak speed at the bottom of the hill is 456 nice good number 456 which is uh... seems to be a common trend with some cars where they just have uh, numbers like 234, 356, or sorry, 345, which is kind of weird. Or in ascending and descending order is what I'm trying to say. So we hold 450 from the hill down to the down to the corner, but we do flicker at 449. So we kind of do kind of know our top speed potential. Uh, if you saw my Alpine video, group one, we did solidly reach for 83 and held it. So that's a common trend for a lot of cars. If they dip below a certain number, you're probably not going to hit that uh, top speed again uh, after the hill. So this car is a lot more stable around the corner, so you can take a, a high line or the third lane or whatever you want to call it and really maximize the little downhill you get when flattening out uh, on the track. So here we're just gonna skip forward a little bit because <laughs> it takes a little bit to actually get up to our true top speed which is what you probably saw in the thumbnail 449 kilometers per hour which I believe is over 280 now, HSG did a video on this, uh, talking about the end of Ferrari, which is a pretty good video. I mean, I really like his content. Uh, it really appeals to people who are just learning. But there's a few people that I've seen before commenting on my video saying I'm wrong, even though my tunes are more geared to absolute top speeds, and his are more geared to usability, which is something I really like about him. And Sometimes we have different opinions, but what I truly like about him is he's able to start a, a discussion from his videos, and he's always respectful, most of the time at least. Uh, sometimes he says stuff about certain cars, but he acknowledges that he does say unpopular opinions, so I guess a shout out to him. But 449 is our uh, top speed, and his video, I believe he reached 444, so 5 kilometer difference, but you want a more usable well I guess this one is pretty usable as you can see we're going around the corner quite easily and if you just hold your line you should be fine but 449 is a five kilometer increase compared to him and he does use miles per hour so I believe if we did the conversion would be somewhere over 280 but I use kilometers per hour because it's more accurate display anyways so we're crossing the line just over four minutes which is a pretty solid time and if you did like this video and want to see more top speed tunes, make sure to subscribe. And anyways, yeah, peace.